For the church, talking about life on other planets is not an everyday occurrence. But that was the theme at a week-long meeting that gathers scientists and theologians in the Vatican. The purpose of the meeting centered around astrobiology and the possibility that life exists elsewhere in the universe. In this week, uh, we've had a possibility to interact with our colleagues um, and try to answer questions like, will we find life in our solar system through space exploration or big telescopes? And will we get signs of biosignatures of life in the extrasolar planets that we have 400 of them out there today. These planets have a, an atmosphere that can be similar to the atmosphere on Earth and have what we call biomarkers. So those uh, elements that uh, help to the development of, of life. Scientists believe that by comparing our own planet's atmosphere to those of planets outside our solar system, they can get closer to understanding the possibility of life on other planets. The participants agreed that science and faith are not incompatible, and that both sides should continue working together in approaching this relatively new scientific field. This dialogue and the scientists bringing that information from their research is occurring in the Pope's home occurring in the heart of the Catholic Church. That is a receptivity to the information that is really the most important thing. Professor Chris Impe from the University of Arizona was among the scientists involved in the week-long meeting and said that bringing together different perspectives contributes to a positive dialogue on astrobiology. What was most important was it's still rare to have scientists from so many different perspectives and disciplines you know intensively for a week sharing their opinions and you could see that as people were getting ready to leave the meeting they were still digesting the views of other scientists. Scientists have not gathered any concrete proof that life exists elsewhere other than Earth. In fact they admit that it may take years before the first sign of life on another planet is detected. But through meetings like this one scientists and theologians have begun an important dialogue in understanding the young study of astrobiology.